Pump Boy Special here. That is not what we're going to do the video over. That is what we're going to do this video over. What in the world is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is a very important part for this. That's right. Let's get to this and see how they go together. That's right. This right here is made by Gerber. And I, I'll show you inside the pouch here. It is made in the USA. And it says, there it is, Gerber, right there. So if you go to gerbergear.com, I'll show you the link here in just a second. You can get this. You can get this in camo, black. This one's black. But this is a multi-tool. There you go. It has several different tools on it. And it is for the AR-15 or M16, whatever, whichever you prefer. And it's a multi-tool. And we're going to go over these tools, show you what it does and what it's for. And All right, first up, before we do anything, show you that, yes, the weapon has been cleared. No magazine, nothing in it. So, now that we know that the weapon has been cleared, we can get our little multi-tool out here and show you some of the features and what it's for. Some people have a difficult time uh, removing these little pins here and here to break the weapon apart, or to break it down, I guess you'd say. Uh, let's turn it over. And you can see right here and right here. Well, that's where this little tool would come in handy. And as you can see, it does have a punch. So, if we open it up here, here's the little punch. Open it up, and it does have a locking mechanism. You can see I'm putting force in it so it locks into place. That's what these little tabs are here on the side. You push down on the tabs, and it folds back up. And when you push it all the way out, extend it, it locks back into place. So that's what this punch is for, to punch out those right there, so you can break the weapon down. All right, we've gotten it to this far. Let's go ahead and take the bolt and everything here out. We'll slide that out. And there's the bolt assembly. Charging handle. All right, let's go ahead and set that up here and take a look at this. Now this part right here, this tool will come in very handy. It has several nice, nice features. One feature right here is a pick. Well, that's not the pick. Right here's the pick. I don't know if we can zoom in on this or not. Kind of looks like a little dentist pick that picks your teeth, but right here it's got a little angled pick. This is really good, not only for cleaning gunk and buildup in and around right here where the firing pin comes out, and it is also good for taking out the cotter pins that hold this in. So if you take that little pick and stick it underneath that little cotter pin there, it comes out really nice. If I can get into it, there it is. If you hook it, pulls that cotter pin out really nice. Set it down right there. So now that we have the cotter pin out, uh, we can get the bolt out very easily once you turn this to the right way. Your firing pin comes out. And this is, we're breaking this down. And this has to come out. Now, when taking this apart, this is one of the good things this tool is good for. Get up underneath here and lift that out. 
and just lift lift that right out and once that's lifted out that comes right out so that pick comes in very useful for not only cleaning built up residue and gunk and stuff that may be caked on or built up but also helps take out cotter pins and lift out pieces and all kinds of things so that's one good tool and the next good tool we have on here right next on the other side is you can get this out you have a brush and that brush obviously is good for getting all the nice little nasty stuff out and brushing anything you want to brush now there are also is another really good feature to this that I'm gonna show you here it does have kind of a flathead screwdriver on this side and that can be used for bunches of things uh, maybe scraping off things or tightening down stuff or you can even use it for your magazines right here if you want to get the face plate off or the butt plate I should say I mean you can just pry that off and use that for all kinds of things so it does have a flathead screwdriver and this is your four pin and five pin front sight tool so you can sight your AR in and we've already seen the flathead screwdriver we've already seen the pick and on this side you have these two items this one we've seen to use as a punch and we've seen the brush and this I don't know if we can see here it's got a nice little groove and that's really good at getting into really tight places as well what tight places are we talking about well let me clean all this off and set it aside and show you on the inside here on the lower you can use this to get into some places here and do some really good cleaning or get some junk out and on the upper you can do the same thing uh, you can do inside here where the rails are and just do some really good cleaning and whatnot so it's a pretty versatile tool so there you go that's all in one comes in nice little handy dandy carrying case and you just fold it up slip it back in there has a nice little snap go on your belt or in your bug out bag or whatever you want to do but there you go it's for the AR and man is it versatile and you can do just about anything so if you've got an AR gerbergear.com I would recommend that so you saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel.